Hello, everyone. Thanks for taking time out of your Wednesday to join us and welcome to this specialist training educational presentation. Now, today I'd like to start off by actually asking you a question, which is, which would you rather trade? I mean, think about it. Would you rather trade an average or an extreme trend? Think of the way you generate signals, either one of my strategies, a student of mine, or something that you've made up, or maybe another educator, you have their strategy. But while you're trading it, would you just rather, uh, you know, actually uh, apply those strategies during an average trend or an extreme trend? For example, let's take a look at these charts right here. Would you rather be trading your strategy during this average trend or during this extreme trend? Once again, would you rather be trading, regardless of strategy or method, during this average trend or this extreme trend, which was conversely to the downside? Now, on top of that, what if there was a platform or a tool where everything was simple? You could simply click on a tab or an icon and it would automatically identify these extreme trends in advance. So prior to the big move, either to the upside or to the downside. So it could identify these so you could get ready to establish some type of trade, some type of entry into this extreme trend before it was even starting to take place. Well, there actually is. It's our PTS Primo charting platform. This is the educational platform that auto identifies extreme trends in advance. I'm gonna share with you a lot of current examples using our platform to identify these uh, scenarios and environment today. And you'll see just how powerful this new tool is that we have at Specialist Trading. So welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo, president and founder of Specialist Trading. I developed this tool with Pro Trader Strategies because what we wanted to do was really get you involved in these uh, scenarios or environments that were ready to take off, either to the upside or to the downside. Remember what happened last month in March when the market fell out of bed? Well, this tool properly identified a strong trend to the downside well in advance of the market slide. And it's also been doing this currently with a lot of straight up markets as well. So I'm going to share with you a lot of uh, ways in which to apply this. I have a lot of slides to share with you in all markets and in all different time frames. But before we begin, as always, we're first required to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results using this new tool. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And also, please remember that all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, as you're taking a brief moment viewing our disclaimer, I'd also like to invite you once again to follow us on Twitter. I post different information on a daily basis, uh, little bits of financial wisdom to actual signals our strategies have generated. I've actually posted a few examples of this new tool on Twitter as well and some signals it has generated. So lots of great free educational information. So please copy down our handle right there at SPCLSTTRADG and feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now, as I've stated numerous times, uh, if you've come to my webinars, which we give on a free weekly basis every Wednesday at the same time, but you've come here thinking that I'm going to tell you what to buy as soon as this concludes in about an hour or telling you what to sell or telling you what I think the market's going to do or uh, telling you the perfect time frame to trade, you once again have come to the wrong place. That is not what we do here. In fact, the reason why it's not what we do is because it's been my opinion, what I've learned in my past 43 years of trading, that that is actually at the root of what causes most traders to fail. It's been estimated that most traders, 85% of all traders will fail. And when we say fail, that means basically losing all of your nest egg that you've put away for trading. Now, the one common denominator of all this is that most traders look to an outside source to tell them what and how to trade. Now look at your own trading. How do you make your own trading decisions? Do you go to a chat room? Do you read a blog to see what someone else is saying? Do you watch the guys on TV to find out what they think? Or do you wait for all the earnings or wait for the economic indicators? Even when you're doing those little minor things, you are taking yourself out of the game and relying on someone or something else to make or influence your trading decisions. I mean, it's no different from asking someone, what do you think of the market? Where do you think I should enter? Where do you think I should exit? It's no different from that. It's no different from some guy sitting at a bar uh, watching the horse races and saying, who do you like in the fifth? 
But for some reason, if you think that that's very unsophisticated, well, for some reason, traders do this on a daily basis. They're constantly asking people, even skilled traders saying, where should I get out? Where should I get in? What do you like? What do you think of this stock? What do you think of this market? What's the best time frame to trade? When you're saying that, the message you're giving to the markets is, I don't know what to do. I'm not qualified enough. I'm not skilled enough. I don't have enough education or knowledge. So why don't you tell me? Because I don't trust myself. And can you think of any other endeavors? Can you think of someone in a business saying that? Someone who owns a restaurant or a store or some you know, uh, computer lab. Can you think of anyone saying that in a business? You say, you're in the wrong business. You shouldn't be doing this if you're asking other people how to perform this. But traders do it on a daily basis. It's almost expected. So that's the common denominator of why most traders lose. So this is why we don't promote any of those things. We don't have chat rooms at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies. We don't believe in that. None of our strategies rely on outside sources like news or what the institutions are doing or economic indicators. We, you know, I traded that 43 years ago when I first started trading. It didn't work then. So why would I put that in our strategies now? So you say that, okay, well, Steve, if you don't provide any of that, what's your goal? What's your mission statement? Well, our goal is simply to teach you how to trade. As a teacher, my goal is to furnish you and provide you with all the things that I've been using for four decades now that have sustained me so that you can be trading for four decades, so that you don't have to come here every week and find out what I'm buying or selling, so that you can do it yourself. In my four decades plus of trading, that is the only way one becomes consistent by making your own trading decisions. So the good news is I've done all this work for you. I've explored all these different systems and methods, most especially the ones that don't work. <laughs> and so I know what works in terms of consistency. I know what doesn't. So I just provide and teach you all the methods I've accumulated and things I use myself, which actually have levels of consistency. You see, as a, as a mentor, as an educator, as a teacher, I don't want you just to have one good year and then lose it all and give it all back the way so many other systems or strategies do. I want you to be trading 20, 30, 40 years down the road. That's what a good teacher does. And that's as a mentor, that's what I want to do to all my students. So today I want to talk to you about a brand new tool that I've actually been using for years now, but we were just able to format it into a proprietary tool on our platform so that we take all of the hard work out of it for you and make it really simple to find these extreme trending zones. Okay. So since this is going to be a great presentation today, I have a lot of slides. I think I have about 150 slides today. So uh, I don't want to stop for each slide to give you any uh, answers to questions. We'll be here way too long. Don't want to do that. So if you have a question, please wait till the very end of today's class. And I promise I shall get to it. Okay. The only question I will ask, or I should say, the only question I will answer is that, uh, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. We record all of our uh, presentations. So if you have to leave early, or if you're having technical issues uh, because of the quarantine now, we have so many people in our classes. A lot of times the internet is overloaded uh, with GoToWebinar and sometimes it crashes. If it does, or if you can't see or hear anything, just log off and log back on. But uh, not to worry, we'll still give every one of you a link to this recording, okay? All right, so with that stated, let's begin today's presentation. So what is this new tool that automatically identifies these extreme moves before they're supposed to happen. It gives you a warning well in advance. What is this? What are you talking about? Well, this new tool is the PTSXT Extreme Trend Indicator. Now, once again, I've been using this for a while, but it takes a lot of work because it actually involves a lot of other pieces of the puzzle, a lot of counterparts within this. And so I've been doing it on my own. But with the help of uh, you know the, the programmers and with our platform, we were able to put this into a great working tool for you. So I know a lot of you are saying, well, what is this? Or, what is this Extreme 10 indicator? How does it work? What exactly, who's it for? What does it do? Well, let me go down the list. First of all, it identifies extreme zones in advance. When we say extreme zones, it's like those charts I showed you where a market goes straight up and where a market goes straight down. Now you're saying to yourself, well, what's so good about that? I mean, what, what's so good about these extreme zones? Well, think of any method you're trading. It doesn't have to be, you know, this is not about a strategy today. This is just about identifying these zones. Anything you're trading will have a higher level of consistency. In fact, this is what we call the low hanging fruit because it's these areas that are very fertile. This is where you want to be trading. This is where you want to be involved during these extreme zones. 
You see, most of the time, I think it's been estimated that uh, stocks are roughly the majority of the time in some type of chop or congestion. And then every once in a while, they'll break out and have these really nice extreme zones. And then they'll go back into chop and congestions and then go back into extreme zones again. All right. The only difficulty is it's, it's hard in trying to identify these because by the time you identify them, it's too late and you've missed the good move already. The beauty of this is that it will identify these extreme zones in advance. So this is where you want to be trading. This is what we call the low hanging fruit. OK, now. These zones can also keep you out of the choppy whipsaw markets. So how does it do that? Well, it identifies these areas. And when the area, according to the parameters, has concluded, well, then you're out of the trader. You should be out. So once there is no uh, area being identified, this is where you should be on the sidelines. It keeps you out of these choppy markets. So think of it. You're only trading in this low-hanging fruit in this extreme zone and you're out during the choppy whipsaw markets. If you're doing that with your trading, it automatically increases your odds for consistency. I mean, think of it like a river, right? If you're going from point A to point B in a river and you have a small canoe or a boat or a raft, how are you gonna to get to where you wanna go faster? When you have a nice current, right? When you have a nice extreme current at your back and it's taking you down the river. You don't wanna be going down a river that looks like a pond that doesn't have any movement at all. It's just basically just sitting there, right? That's the way it is when you have these choppy whipsaw markets. You want to be in the water. You wanna be in the river when you have that nice current. That's what it's like trading these extreme zones. You're gonna increase your odds for consistency. Now, on top of that, it provides you with multiple trade opportunities. Now, uh, just a little bit of uh, advanced notice here. I'm gonna be giving a free class to the new members of this course where I'll be talking about how to apply all these different ways in which to trade. So that's the beauty of these extreme zones. There are just multiple ways to trade once you're in that zone. Now, on top of this, you can apply this to sectors. Let's say you're looking at the semiconductor sector, or let's say you're looking at the real estate sector, okay? What you can do is look at the ETF that represents all of these. And once the ETF either goes into the extreme zone for buying or the extreme zone for selling, well, then you can basically say that that zone, or I should say that uh, sector is positive or negative, and you can apply it to trading stocks that make up that sector. So it's a great, great tool to define what the overall market is doing. You can apply this to ETFs like the spiders. All right, now, if you get a buy or sell signal in the spiders, don't you think that the market's going to follow suit? So it's a great, great tool to identify which sectors to be trading and which to be avoiding as well. But lastly, I think the most important, we touched on this before, is that it eliminates trading in the traffic jams and the congestions. As I said before, it's been estimated that the majority of time you're in the markets, it's like this. It's basically in a traffic jam. How many times have you been so excited about a signal? It doesn't matter what it's based on. It could be one of your strategies, could be based off news, could be based off the full moon. It makes no difference. But the minute you get in, it's like this, right? You're in a traffic jam. And it's almost like if you got out of your car, you would be getting there faster because you're basically not going anywhere. Trading is like that at times. Many times you'll be sitting there and you thought you would be out of the trade in a week or two. And here it is a couple of months later, you're still in it. You're waiting for something to happen. You're tying up your money and you're not going anywhere. Now, what if you wanted to get from point A to point B, your destination, and you're sitting there and a friend said, listen, I know of a shortcut. I know of a, of a, a pathway, of a way that no one travels with. In fact, it's empty and you can get to where you want to go much faster and you don't have to sit in this traffic. That's what it's like when you're trading in the extreme trend. All right. You have this a roadway, which is all yours. There's no traffic. There's no uh, congestion. You can get to where you want really quickly and easily. And it's a lot more enjoyable. It's like you have your own highway to consistency. That's what it's like when you're trading with the PTS XT Extreme Trend. So that's the beauty of this. You want to be out of that congestion and you want to be on to this super highway. Now, I know most of you are saying, okay, well, what is this uh, new tool based on? Remember, it's based on proprietary indicators. Now, these are multiple, multiple proprietary indicators, and when they're all formatted together, we look at their relationship to one another. Now, when all the requirements are met, when everything comes together, that's when it identifies an extreme trend. Now, I want you to know that nothing works 100% of the time. 
Does this have fits and starts at, at times? Sure it does. Sometimes it'll give a signal and nothing happens, but this is what I'm gonna be talking about in the course uh, that I'll be giving in a couple of weeks where you won't even be affected by these fits and starts at time as long as you know how to properly enter or exit a trade. It's all about money management, okay? So how is the PTSXT different from other specialist trading trending tools? I know a lot of you are saying, well, Steve, I've seen you give presentations about these other trending tools you have, so what's so different about this? Is this gonna be something that uh, I'm supposed to have that's gonna increase my odds for consistency? Well, let's go over our two major trending tools that we have at Specialist Trading and Pro-Trader Strategies. The first one is the buy-sell line. I'm sure you've all heard me speak about it before. In fact, I've even gone so far as to say if I were stranded on a desert island and I could only use one tool, it would be this, the buy-sell line, because it's such a great tool for determining the overall trend. As we look at this uh, chart here, this is a weekly chart of WYN, W-Y-N-N. Now, when, once we apply the buy-sell line in the form of the fluid feature, we see that the overall trend is up when you uh, have the background blue, and the overall trend is down when the background is uh, red, or reddish orange, I should say, okay? So, as we see here, it will really pinpoint these nice moves, up and down. The only trouble is, while the overall trend is either going up or down, look at this congestion we have. For example, from January 16 to January 17, we were basically going sideways, up, down, up, down. So if you were a long-term investor and win, for the full year, you basically have 2016, you really didn't have anything to show for it, right? And it works the same way here. This entire time, for about three or four months, you were going up and down sideways. So many times you will be caught in that congestion, even when you're in, uh, involved with the overall up or down trend. So that's uh, you know a, a little disadvantage of trying to time your trades with the buy-sell line. Now, our other most prominent tool at Specialist Trading is our short-term trend identifier, and this is the Pet D. This is another powerful tool that I use every day in my trading. It's a great tool. It's specifically to try, defined to determine the short-term trend. It's an early trend detector, okay? The trouble is, it's so sensitive, many times it will pick up on that same congestion area. For example, we see here the PET D is a color bar algorithm. So when the bars are colored red, it's telling you that the short term trend is down. And when the bars are colored green, it's signaling that the short term trend is up. And as we said, the PET D stands for the early trend detector. So many times it will detect a trend well in advance of a move coming. For example, we were in. AEE for four weeks before it finally decided to take off. Now, looking back in hindsight, this was great. Look at how early the, the uh, Pet D it, it told us in advance that we were going higher. The only trouble is we would have had to wait possibly four weeks before that extreme move took place. You see, what we're looking for with the Pet DXT is this move right here. We don't want to wait, all right? We just want to get in high, uh, you know, in advance into this high probability area where the low hanging fruit is. It's the same to the downside. Here's the daily chart of UPS. Now, the PET D, well in advance, even though the market was going sideways for three weeks, it was coloring all of the bars red. Now, if you're a short term trader, sure, you could have taken advantage of selling here at the top, getting out, selling again, but you didn't get that strong extreme trend kick in until three weeks later. This is what we're interested in, this movement here with the PET DXD, so you're not tied up in this congestion, okay? So therefore, if you're asking what the main purpose of is of the PET DXD, it's basically to announce in advance when an extreme trend is just about to begin, okay? We're trying to get you out of that congestion. We're trying to get you out of that clogginess of the market so that you don't have to have your money tied up, so that you don't have to sit there and say to yourself, wow, did I get in the right trade here? Maybe I'm gonna lose money. You know what that's like, right? When you go to bed at night and you say, gosh, I've been in this trade for three or four days. I haven't seen any progress now, but the, you know everything's still okay, but uh, I don't you know, wanna wait that long. I'd like to know right off the bat if I'm uh, gonna be profitable or not. Well, that's what, the main purpose of the PTS XT is for. So let's look at this chart in the spiders. This is going back a couple of months to February. All right. And we all remember the good old days, right? When the market was going up and there was no problem at all. You just, you didn't even have to do any work. You just basically, 
you know, could throw a, a dart and whatever, uh, you know, you, you picked, the market was going to go higher, whatever stock came up, right? And even when there was a sell-off for a week or so, that was a buying opportunity because we see here the spiders was going up in February. And then right here we had this sell-off right in the middle of February, okay, mid to end. And most of the time you would say, well, this is a buying opportunity. This is something, uh, you know, we've gone down three or four days. It's a pullback. The overall trend is still up and I want to just buy this. So you'd step in and buy. But guess what? With the PTSXT tool, on the very same day you were thinking of buying, when everything you thought was oversold and it was just going to bounce back up the way it always had for the last three or four years, look what happened. This tool gave you a warning that an extreme downtrend was about to take place. Now, you could have used this a number of different ways. Let's say you were long. You could have said, wow, okay, well, uh, I'm not the kind of guy that likes to go short, so I think what I'll do is I'll move my stop up or maybe I'll sell half of my position. Or maybe if I was thinking about buying more, I won't buy any at all. I'll just kind of be very careful. Or if you're a more advanced trader, you say, okay, this is a great warning here. Time for me to get short. I want to you know, take advantage of a strong move to the downside. And then we all know what happened in March coming into April, right? How did it know this? Were we studying what was going on economically around the world? Were we given a heads up about how serious this virus was going to be by the administration? Uh, did someone from China call us up and tell us that there was going to be a breakout with the coronavirus? No, we just listened to what this tool was telling us. And it was saying when all the parameters came to place, when all the requirements were met, that this was usually what happens prior to an extreme move. Now, I want you to look at this right here. This was on the 16th okay, of March. Now, why are we highlighting that? Well, something very extraordinary happened there. On the 16th, the Dow fell nearly 3,000 points, all right? That was the biggest drop since 1987. Now, I was on the floor trading during 1987, and I talk about this in my book and in, in the different webinars I've spoken about. It was the craziest day I've ever experienced. In fact, uh, you know, I was on the floor with uh, probably about two or 300 traders, and everyone that day lost money. I was I came out rather unscathed. I lost about a quarter of a million dollars. I knew other people that had lost multi-millions, okay? So this was phenomenal to know that we were getting very close to what was uh, happening uh, you know, many, many years ago. Here's the beauty of this. As the Dow was skidding nearly 3,000 points on the 16th, remember, once again, what did the PTS Extreme tool tell you weeks in advance? It told us that an extreme trend was just about to take place. Do you see, do you see the power in this tool? Do you see how it can help you, even if you're long or if you're a, a buyer uh, looking to get in more, where you could have stepped aside and said, you know what, I'm not going to buy anymore. I'll just you know, have my stops in play. Or if you're an aggressive trader, all right? That's the beauty of this tool. And it can be applied to any market and any time frame. All right, so let's look at the process with our platform and how you actually can use this. How, you know, because, you know, it just doesn't shine a little arrow and say, uh, okay, a trend is starting here. There actually is a process and we turned it into a color block. Let me show you what we mean here. And remember, this is all only found on our PTS Primo charting platform. This is not something we've licensed to other platforms. You'll only find this tool, this indicator on the PTS Primo charting platform. It automatically identifies these extreme trends in advance. Okay, so let's look at this uh, example, oh, example here in NTRS, all right? This is just to explain the process. Now, looking at this, someone would say, well, Steve, I mean, there's no trend here, there's nothing. We're basically just going sideways. And if anything, there's support here because this is where the market likes to hold. It's a Fibonacci support. So, uh, you know, I can't really make up my mind and decision as to what's gonna happen. And the earnings are gonna come out later on, so I don't wanna step in front of the earnings. So I'll just kind of wait and see what happens and so I can help me make a decision, all right? Sound familiar, right? The way most traders trade, myself included, when I first started trading, I did the same thing, went through the same process, and guess what? Didn't make any money either. This was 43 years ago when I first started trading. How could the new tool help us? Well, remember, it's a color, uh, not a color bar, but a color blocking uh, sector. So what it does is all you have to click on is the PTS Extreme Trend tab on our platform and see if there's a little block around any of the bars. All right. As we see, there is a reddish orange block, which signifies that there's most likely going to be a, an extreme downward move. That's what the uh, reddish orange block means. 
So this is a tremendous signal where you may have thought, well, wow, this was just a, a sell off. I'm going to get long some cheap stock here. This is actually something to be weary of and to go short because look what happened. 35 points to the downside in the next two or three weeks. OK, now it works to the upside as well. As we see here in this older chart of Tesla, this was last year. Once again, it looks like absolutely nothing is happening, even though this is a $300 stock at the time. It's in a congested market. This is the way most traders trade. They'll buy or sell here and they'll hold on to a position for weeks or months. And they'll say to themselves, gosh, I've tied up a lot of money. Nothing's happening. Uh, maybe I, I you know, should be trading this way because nothing's happening at all. Well, this is the beauty of the PTS XT. It keeps you out of these congested areas. All you have to do once again is click on the tab, the extreme trend tab, and wait for it to have a block, a color block around a bar. Now, in this case, it had a yellow block, which is a warning that you're going to have a PTSXT uptrend, okay, an extreme uptrend. So that's a really nice setup because you're thinking to yourself, well, gosh, uh, you know, I held on for three weeks and nothing happened. Well, you wouldn't have had to hold on for anything. You just wait to see this block happen. And you could have entered any way you'd like. And once again, I will be going over this in the class we'll be having in a couple of weeks for all the new members. And you had a nice little uh, move there, right? Now, I'm not saying you would have made 600 points, but wouldn't you have liked to know on that day back in December of 2019, about four or five months ago, that this was most likely signaling a very strong upward move? Uh, we, it's not a predictive tool. It doesn't tell you how high it's going to go or how low. But wouldn't you like to have known that you're going to have a nice upward move or a nice downward move? This is a really extremely valuable tool to have in your back pocket. All right, so that's the process. Let's share with you now some recent PTSXT examples, okay? These happened within the last couple of months. Some of them happened within the last week, all right? All right, so let's look at Amazon. Amazon's been in the news lately, been going straight up, right? Well, it's funny because on the 6th of April, about two or three weeks ago, it colored one of the bars yellow. That was the uptrend signal. You could have bought on the close. You could have placed a limit order somewhere else. You could have waited for confirmation. Either way, this was a tremendous warning because look what happened. The stock went up 450 points coming into this last week, okay? Not a bad little signal to let you know that it was going to be moving up, right? How about Roku, okay? This was in February. In mid-February, a downtrend signal was generated. Why? Because the block, all it does is color around the block of the bar. All right, so the bar actually isn't colored the way the PET-D is. It's just a block around, but it signals on that first day. So you know, all right? So now if you were a long Roku, you could have used this to exit. Or if you wanted to get short, you could have bought some puts. It's entirely up to you. We're not telling you how or what to do. We're just showing you that this is a tremendous warning here because the stock fell 60 points coming into mid-March. Now, here's the added uh, advantage of the of the tool. Once it gets out of that block, out of that orange block, well, you don't want to be trading because this once again is the congestion area. This is where most traders have difficulty because let's say you thought, okay, the sell-off is over. Look at this. We have a really strong up day. I'm going to buy and you buy here. What happened for the next two or three weeks? Absolutely nothing. You're right back to where you started. So this is the area where you want to be out of. Remember I showed you the pictures of the congestion, of the traffic, of the bumper to bumper traffic. You don't want to be trading during those times. This is how you will automatically increase your odds for consistency by applying this tool. Now, look what happened on, I believe, the 14th of April. All of a sudden, you have an orange block, or I should say a yellow block around that bar. So 25 points coming into yesterday, I believe, that you could have worked with to the upside. All right, everyone's been talking about Zoom. Okay, if we look at this in hindsight, it's like, oh yeah, Steve, but I wanted to know in advance where these high probability areas were. I mean, some of them, like here, we're going straight up and then we go in congestion, then straight up and then we go down and there's congestion right here. How could this tool help us? Well, let's go back in hindsight and see. Do you see how it automatically covered this nice upward move, kept you out of here, had the nice upward move and then another one and then kept you out of this congestion? had you in the nice upward move, kept you out of here, and then the current upward move as well, okay? So we're not saying you would have made, you know, 30 points here, 15 here, or 40. We're just saying that's how much you have to work with. 
But isn't that a nice sample size? It was just saying, well, wow. I mean, what if someone said, you know, I was going to have a nice opportunity to make uh, some, uh, you know, points here. Wouldn't you like to know or have a tool at your access? It's one click away. It's as simple as clicking on the Pet DXT Extreme Trend tab on our platform. All right, now here was an uptrend signal in ROST. All right, it worked for, uh, I'd say for about a good five or maybe 10 points at the most, but then it was met with an extreme downtrend signal right here. This was coming into March, all right? The stock fell 50 points. This is the low hanging fruit we're talking about. This is where you love to be in a trade because the minute you sell, it goes in your direction. Now, the added advantage is once again, it kept you out of this area. You weren't even trading here. So look at the sideways action. For some reason, this is where most of us get involved and this is why most of us fail because we say, this is not going anywhere. I'm gonna exit, take a small loss and then it ultimately goes in the direction. But you had to wait too long. As traders, we don't like to wait, right? We wanna know the minute we buy, it goes up. And the minute we sell, it goes down. That's the beauty and that's the purpose of the PTSXT. All right, let's look at an example here in letter W, all right? This was just uh, the 6th of April, just a couple of weeks ago. It was going sideways, then popped up, and at the end of the day on the 6th, it was circled with a yellow bar here, okay? So that was your choice, but either way, 35 points coming into this week, okay? Not a bad little setup there, right? Now remember, if you want to use the first bar as your entry, you could, or you could wait and say, you know what, I'm going to wait. There's the first down day. I'm going to buy here and then take advantage. There are numerous ways to trade it, multiple ways. This is what I'm going to be talking about in this advanced class for all the new members in the next couple of weeks. All right, in VLO, it uh, generated a downtrend signal uh, in uh, February coming into March for a quick 45 points. And then once again, this entire time, you have been avoiding trading this at all. See, the beauty of it is it keeps you out of the traffic jam and only has you into that super highway where the low hanging fruit is, where the high probability profits are. All right, let's look at FANG, FANG, okay? We see here that we had some nice trends and some areas where it kind of stopped, but how could we have taken advantage of like this up move, this down move, and then this real extreme down move? Well, let's go back in hindsight. Let's apply the Pet the Extreme Trend tool. And look what happened. Isn't that amazing? We would have been able to catch this nice upward move of 12 points on the very first signal. Then applying this, we would have kept out of this area and been able to generate potentially another 12 points. And then once it left this zone, we wait and guess what? Another signal was generated coming into March, ultimately 55 points. You see the beauty of this is you're out of the whipsaw choppy area and it only gets you in when the market wants to make a big move. And better all, best or better thing of all, it avoids these congestion areas. What if you had gotten long here and you say to yourself, wow, I'm gonna make a lot of money as this goes straight up and then Days later, it's right back down to where you bought it, right? This is why most traders fail because they're trading in the wrong areas, the wrong zones. Let's look at NEM, okay? Once again, this was just uh, uh, in the first week of April this month. Nothing really happening in the market, kind of just going sideways, but it was outlined with a yellow block. That's your signal to enter. 15 points coming into this last week. Not a bad little trade for a, a fairly inexpensive stock. Now, here's an older example in RCL coming in from January to February, okay? Once again, this is where most traders lose as well because they say to themselves, well, Steve, the market's been going up. Gosh, everything is just screaming. And even when you have a sell-off, that's an opportunity, right? So we're oversold. I like to use this uh, confirmation technique, which works off divergences. So I'm going to buy because this new low is not being confirmed by the previous low. There's a divergence with this $10,000 indicator that I bought. So it's not really confirming, so I'm going to buy here, okay? This is the way, once again, you see how most traders make their decisions based off faulty, inconsistent outside sources? If you punched up the extreme trend, guess what? It had a reddish orange block on the same day you thought it was oversold, 72 points coming into March, okay? Think it could have helped you during the month of March? Most traders will say to me, Steve, gosh, I had a really terrible month of March coming into April. How could you if you were in sync with this tool? 
Now let's look at some other time frames and other markets because I know not everyone trades daily bars of stocks. What if you like to trade weekly bars or other markets? Well, here's a weekly chart of Apple, all right, coming into the beginning of April. Now, obviously, this is where, if you're an investor, this is where you want to be buying and holding on, right? Is there any way we could have been informed of this well before that market took off? Well, like, say, maybe right here. What if we could have bought, like, right here? How would we have known? Well, all you had to do is click on the Extreme Trend tool. Our first bar was, or was yellow, I should say, right here in August of 2019. Potentially, you could have captured 120 points, and look what happened. It's kept you out on a weekly time frame. You haven't been back in. What about a weekly chart of CVX? All right, what if you like to use this for investing or swing trading? All right, like most traders would be involved here, and then by the time it started going down, they'd say, wow, well, I guess I'm in this for good now. I guess I just turned into a long-term investor. But with the PTS XT Extreme, you would have known right here. And let me show you how simple it would have been. Click this on. And you see if you get the block. And right here would have been the first day you had a reddish orange block. You could have potentially exited if you were long or taken advantage of the 65 point move to the downside. Let's look at a different market. Here's a daily chart of the Canadian dollar. Okay, this is coming into March. We had our first bar uh, overlaid with uh, yellow, 1,200 pips to the upside. And then look what happened here. You avoided all the trading so far because this is the chop we talked about. Unfortunately, most traders are out of this market, but they're in right here. But what the PTS XT does is it gets you in here and gets you out of this scenario. Or how about an hourly chart of the E-mini futures? Now, this was on the 20th. This was just Monday, okay? I know I go a lot, to a lot of webinars to see what other people are doing. I've said this before. I like to see what other educators, so-called educators, are saying. And they'll show some amazing displays of some system or some indicator that works amazing. And then you look at the date, and it was like a year ago or six months ago. That's, you know, I, if I were purchasing that, I'd say, well, how do I know this is working now? For example, on an hourly bar uh, uh, setup of the E-mini futures, which was just three days ago, we had a reddish orange bar, uh, or I should say block around the bar. This is an hourly bar. The E-mini felt 70 points coming into, I believe, Tuesday, okay? That's $3,500 per unit, potentially, per contract that you could have captured. Now, I'm not saying you would have. Remember, once again, this does not generate exit signals. It does not generate and tell you how low something will go. It's just telling you how long it's in this extreme zone by coloring the block either reddish orange or yellow. But do you think this could have helped you last week? This was just an hourly chart of the EME futures just this past week. And what about commodities? I know a lot of traders have abandoned stocks, they've abandoned futures and said, you know what, I'm only going to trade commodities because they're real. Well, here's a chart of coffee, okay? At an extreme trend move to the upside, kind of sideways for a bit, and then an extreme move to the downside. Look how the tool helped you. It only had you in that extreme uptrend move, got you out of the chop to avoid, and then got you back in when it was established an extreme downward move. So you're only in the low-hanging fruit area and you're out of the traffic jam. Now, I know all of us have been looking at oil lately, right? So I specifically wanted to show you this chart in crude oil, all right? Now, I want you to look at the lower left-hand corner of this example here, because I'm only gonna show you two days and look when this was. January of this year. This was about mid to late January, okay? So a good three, four months ago. Someone would say, well, Steve, how can you get information on what to do just looking at two bars? That's the beauty of the PTS XT, all right? It already is pre-formatted to look and to see with all these different proprietary indicators if a move is about to take place. So in mid-January, if you had simply had our platform, clicked on PTS Extreme Trend, you would have seen that this bar here was outlined reddish orange. What was that telling you? Well, roughly when we were in the higher price level, roughly crude oil was trading around $60, 50 or $60. This was telling you that there's gonna be most likely an extreme move to the downside. Most people would have said, what are you talking about? You know, oil's been already, you know, uh, going lower, kind of sideways to lower. Why would it go any lower than this? Well, look what happened after that. It went down a quick eight points crude oil and then went into this kind of sideways movement. 
which would have kept you out. So you could have made a quick eight points, uh, you know, potentially in your favor to the downside. Then right here at the end of February, another downtrend signal was generated, which would have quickly generated 30 points to the downside in crude oil. Now, at this point, at the beginning of April, it was congestion area, area to avoid. And look what happened last week. On the 15th, another signal was generated to go uh, short or not just simply telling you that extreme downtrend was about to take place. So why would you have to look at any economic news? Why would you have to look at and see what countries are doing to find out what the course is of oil? It's all right here in, the, in front of you. See, our goal is to have you not to rely on anyone or anything else, just to listen to the markets. And all of our proprietary tools are designed to listen and translate what the market wants to do. They're not uh, you know, uh, indicators that are uh, predicting how high or how low something will go. They're just simply listening to the market, finally tuning in, and then telling you the market wants to do this. That's the beauty of all of our proprietary tools. Okay, so let's review. Remember, once again, these are the advantages of trading with the PTS Extreme Trending Tool. It identifies these extreme zones in advance. Now, we just showed you exactly how it does it. This pinpoints the low-hanging fruit areas. These are the areas you want to be trading in. This is where you have the highest probability for success. Now, when it's out of these zones, well, then it keeps you out of these choppy whipsaw markets. So automatically, you're increasing your odds for consistency because you're only trading during the high probability areas and you're out when there is no block, uh, when there's no uh, color block, you're simply out of the market. Now, it provides you with multiple trading opportunities, which I'll go over in a few minutes, and identifies these market sectors. So if you wanted to, you know, once again, look at a particular ETF. That was telling you what the market was going to do, what the with the core stocks that make up that ETF, you could use this as well. But I think the most important thing is, is that it eliminates trading in that chop, in that congestion area. Remember, as a trader, this is the way we usually wind up. We want to get to the ATM machine, which is a success, which is a profitable trade, but we wind up waiting. And usually we're waiting far too long. We scare ourselves. We say to ourselves, boy, I, this is not working. I'm going to exit. I don't want to lose money. And then you get out too early or get out too late. And meanwhile, you're just waiting and waiting and waiting. What if you were able to go right to the front of the line? That's what trading with the PTS XT does. It's the express lane. It takes you right up to the high probability zone so that you can capture profits if they're readily available. This is the beauty of this tool. Okay, so we have a great offer for you today. We're going to offer you the PTS XT Extreme Trend. This is the one that generates the high probability zones. You can apply it to any market, any time frame. You can also trade it with your current strategy. So it doesn't matter what strategy you're trading. If you trade in those high probability zones, we strongly feel you will increase your odds for consistency tremendously. Okay, you can build your own strategy based off this. Okay, it will give you the confidence to pull the trigger and it's great for market timing. But remember, this is only available on the PTS Primo charting platform. This is not something that you can upload onto TradeStation, not something you'll get on, on uh, Metastock or NinjaTrader. So here's what we're going to do. For new customers, customers who are purchasing this, we will offer you 12 months of our platform free so you can use it in, a, in addition with all the other things that are offered on our platform. For example, you'll get the one-click access to the indicator, but also our enhanced buy sell line our strength of trend tool, which many times you can work with, with the PTSXT, we'll tell you when, just about when the trend is about to dissipate. Uh, over 90 of the most prominent technical indicators, auto-generated exit levels, which I tweet about a lot. Here's what I think is the most valuable part of our platform is the signal scan. Why? Well, let's go back to one of those first charts I shared with you. Remember we were talking about when the Dow fell 3,000 points in that one day, okay? If you had scanned well in advance on the night of the 25th, five minutes before the close, you would have seen that a reddish orange block was around the uh, spiders, okay? So do you think this could have helped you avoid or at least make money during that big crash we had during March? Remember the Dow Jones Industrial Average plunged nearly 9,000 points in just a little under a month. And look what happened here. At the end of February, that was your signal that an extreme downtrend was about to take place. And in addition to that, you could have scanned for that. And that night you would have seen 
that that was your sell signal. So this is the beauty of the scanner. You can scan through the list of stocks. We give you a ton of different lists, anywhere from futures, currency pairs, uh, DAX exchange, uh, European markets, Asian markets, Canadian markets, as well as the S&P 500, the Dow, and all these different ETFs. You can just go through them and see what the setups are for the next day. It literally take you just a few minutes to go see the list each and every night. Okay, so let's break it down. How to take advantage of this great offer we have for you. Our Extreme Trend Tools special price is usually set at $49.95. It's worth that much, but we're going to discount it today, down $500, down to $44.95. You're also going to get 12 months of the platform absolutely free. That's amazing. And in addition to that, for a short time only, you will be able to put together a payment plan. So if you can't come up with a $44.95, don't worry for a small deposit, you can still be up and running. And most especially, you can be up and running and attend a special class I'll be giving only for new members of the PTSXD uh, trading tool. This is a class where I'll be giving in the next couple of weeks, just for you people that sign up, where I'll be showing you how I like to trade it in different ways to enter, multiple ways to exit, and multiple ways to place your stop so that you can actually formulate this into an actual trading plan. You see, it's not so much just a, a warning tool saying, okay, there's a red block or a yellow block, so I guess I should get in or get out, or I should stay on the sidelines. I'll show you how to actually trade with it, okay? So this is gonna be a great class, but it's only for new members. It's exclusively for new members in our PTS XT trading room, okay? So here's how to take advantage of this. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. I developed and designed the platform along with the PTS XT tool with them. Uh, I would suggest calling them at 310-598-6677. They can answer any question uh, regarding price or the platform. And in addition, they can structure a payment plan for you if you wanna only put down a small deposit. Now that link you see at the very bottom is the link that will take you to the sign up page. Uh, if you wanna to go to a live link though, simply go to the chat box and they just posted one in the chat box. It's a live link. And that's the one you would click on to get more information about the PTSXT tool, okay? Now we have a few more minutes left in the hour. I promised you I would answer questions at the end of today. So if you have any questions, now's the time. Just open up your question and answer box and ask. Uh, feel free to ask anything you like about trading this or about uh, you know uh, how I use it or uh, questions you may have seen during today's presentation. Uh, someone is saying, can I apply this to NinjaTrader? Unfortunately, no, you can't. Uh, I, you may have entered a little late or missed that portion. This is only available on our platform, the PTS Primo charting platform. That's why we are making you a special uh, deal by giving you a full year to new customers only. So if you, uh, you know, are interested at all in doing this, you have to have the platform. The good news is the platform comes with all these other features. It's a tremendous amount of features you have with the platform that in or are in addition to this. And they can actually help you trade as well. I'll be showing a lot of these in the class that I'm having, okay? Uh, next question, someone's saying, when exactly is that class? Well, we have to wait and see. Last time we gave this presentation, we were inundated with people that wanted to purchase the PETD, uh, or I should say the PTS XT tool. And then, uh, you know, we had to wait a while because people were calling up for the next week or so. So we have to kind of wait and see uh, after I'm sure we'll get inundated with more and more buyers after I present today. And so we have to see once it's stopped, then we will start the class. But it usually shouldn't be any more than a week or two from now, okay? And remember, someone is asking what exactly are you gonna be teaching in this? Well, remember, this is not an open class that it's free for everyone. This is only for new members, people that actually have the tool, the indicator. And I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly how to apply it. And uh, in terms of, I'm sure you've seen a lot of examples where you've said, well, this is great, but you say I potentially could have made 50 points, but where would I have exited? Well, I'll show you a number of ways in which to do that, a number of ways in which to enter, and different ways to protect yourself while you're in the trade, okay? So it really is a great, great tool. Uh, okay, I guess that's all for questions. Many of you are probably interested, or maybe you're actually contacting ProTrader Strategies right now. Remember, my suggestion is always to give them a call. Call ProTrader Strategies. Uh, there's absolutely no obligation. They have trading consultants manning the phones right now. They would be more than happy to discuss any discounts with you or uh, more questions, tech support about the platform. And if you want to put together a payment plan, <clears throat> they would be the ones to talk to, okay? So as we conclude, I just want you to see how strong this tool is. It works tremendously. 
Uh, and it's really something that you can apply to any market, any time frame. And I've been using it for years. But remember, uh, this is something that I had to individually put together with all these proprietary indicators. Now the beauty is we've taken that work out of it for you and it's right there with one click away, okay? Remember, if you have uh, any questions concerning pricing or possibly another method or strategy that you already have or want to uh, increase to, contact Broke Trader Strategies. They're in charge of all that. They're in charge of all the discounts, of all the products and of all the uh, tech support and they would be happy to answer all your questions concerning that, okay? As we conclude, I just wanna say thank you so much for attending today, and I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine in the new PTS XT Extreme Trend course. Thank you so much. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.